Hi. This is a very quick tutorial on how to set up the brake to vacate system on the fly-by-wire Airbus A380. The plane or the add-on was released a couple of days ago and I think it's fair to say that this is one of the most celebrated releases of any aircraft add-on ever. Not only because it's free but also because of the plane it represents. Um, one of the hallmark systems of the A Airbus A380 and also the 350 is the so-called brake to vacate or BTV system. This system allows you to pre-select a taxiway from which you want to vacate the runway after landing. Uh, the system uses the outer brake to slow your airplane down to a ground speed of something like 10 knots or so a couple of meters before your intended runway exit. And um, I want to show you how to set up um, this system in preparation for your landing and also how it looks like during landing. Uh, we are now in the cockpit of the A380 and we are currently inbound to uh, Berlin Brandenburg International Airport and there we selected the runway 2 for right uh, for our landing and we already inserted all the approach data into the management system. Uh, to prepare the BTV system um, we need to activate uh, the plan mode and switch to the zoom functionality uh, in our navigation display. You can then uh, select the arrival airport by clicking onto this three arrows in the right of the navigation display, go to airport select and select the arrival airport. It should be pre-filled with your departure, your arrival and also your alternate airport but uh, if it is not or you want to select another airport then you could uh, switch to any airport in the database of the A380 by entering the airport code on the left here. As I said we prepared um, the ILS on runway 24 right into our flight management system and the associated runway is now shown on the map which is displayed on the navigation display with a large green triangle. Now we need to tell the BTV system which runway we want to use and we do this by just clicking onto the runway designator, so in this case 24 right. Um, the selected runway should then be shown in your navigation display in the top left corner. After selecting uh, to the runway, uh, there are two new indications, or two magenta lines shown on the display. These two lines indicate um, the stopping distance you need um, uh, on a dry or on a wet runway. In a similar way, uh, as we selected the runway for landing, we can now select the taxiway uh, we want to exit the runway from. And we do this but just in a similar way, we just click on the taxiway identifier, as we have done before when we're selecting the runway. Um, it is actually a good practice to choose a runway exit behind the wet line, even if the runway is dry, um, just so you're prepared for changing runway conditions. In the upper left corner of your navigation display, you can now validate um, your input to the BTV system, so the runway and the exit. And additionally, you can see a couple of uh, interesting information, so like the runway occupation time, ROT, or the time it will take to the brakes to cool down below 150 degrees Celsius after landing, um, which would be the limit you need to reach um, in order to take off again. So the last step um, to prepare the BTV system is to actually arm it um, and you're doing this by rotating the auto brake selector knob to BTV. Um, when everything is set up correctly, uh, BTV uh, will be now shown in your flight mode enunciator in blue to indicate that the system is armed. Now Minimum. let's have a quick look on how BTV works on landing. We are here uh, in short final to runway 24 right in Berlin. BTV is still armed as you can see in the FMA. 
And after um, nose landing gear touchdown, or actually five seconds after the spoilers extended, the BT sys BTV system is activated, which you can see by the green BTV indication on the FMA. Uh, BTV now um, chooses a deceleration or rate or, um, so that your plane will reach this approximately 10 knots um, shortly before your selected runway exit, um, which in our case is now Lima 3. And as you can see, the system automatically disengages at this 10 knots um, and you can then manually brake or vacate the runway. Um, I hope uh, that you could see that this is really quite a convenient uh, nifty system and I guess in real life it also is a system which improves safety. So that's it for today. Um, I hope you found this uh, mini tutorial helpful. Um, I would really love to hear what you think about the Flyby-Wire A380 uh, and your experiences with it. Um, feel free to leave a comment. Um, and I was also appreciated if you consider liking and subscribing this video. This helps a small channel like mine uh, rather tremendously. As a small bonus, um, if you want to know more about the BTV system, uh, have a look in the video description below. Um, i am put some more links and resources about the system there, um, so you can uh, read a little bit more if you like. Thanks for watching, and see you very soon.